I think the JAK inhibitor class is a great place to start with MPNs and myelofibrosis. So the basic premise here is that myelofibrosis, or actually all MPN cells, we found in others that it signals through the specific pathway in the cells called JAK-STAT pathway. So take a regular cell, a blood cell, it already uses the JAK-STAT pathway for normal blood cell growth differentiation lifespan. Now take an MPN cell, and that pathway is hijacked, co-opted, used in a malignant way, and so those cells keep growing, keep growing, and dividing. The JAK inhibitors aim to block that overactivity or wrong activity or malignant activity and then restore normal growth. Now in that, we know that ruxolitinib was the first ever approved JAK inhibitor. And then since then, there are now three JAK inhibitors that are US FDA approved, fedratinib, pecritinib, finally and most recently, momolotinib, just within the last year.